hello everyone good morning and good evening my name is Sumit and I welcome all of you to bspetrainings.com this is my new video in art programming and I'm a subject matter expert in art programming in this video I will be going to tell you how to do the Facebook data mining through R. As you know that Facebook is a very popular social media networking website and we have lots of friends on our Facebook. So I would like to analyze the data that how many of my friends they are married, how many of them are single or I just wanted to analyze the my friends list based on the relationship or based on their location or based on their age or it means we can specify we can use any of the filter data so in this example I'm going to analyze the data based on their relationship status so first of all to do the data mining of Facebook through R they should have a Facebook developers account so if you don't have any Facebook developers account, you need to log in into developers.facebook.com and then you need to allow your Facebook account to be accessed as a developer. So once you have done with that, you should ask your friends to also get registered on developers.facebook.com because the drawback of this scenario is that you can get you can access only those friends records those who have registered on developers.facebook.com account so if you haven't got those such friends you can create some dummy records you can create some dummy Facebook records and you can register them for developers.facebook account so I've already done that I've already got few of my friends and next you need to log in into developers.facebook.com so I've already logged in you can have a look I've already logged in into my account developers account and then click on tools and support when you click on tools and supports on the left side you will see the tools and the first tool is the graph API Explorer so click on this graph API Explorer and you will be getting the access token so this access token is required to get the details or to to do the data mining from the Facebook so make sure that you have selected all the features so either you can reset the so token or you can get a list of all the pages which you have defined so I click on get users access token and make sure that you have selected all the options so I have selected all the options in users data permissions as well as extended permissions to read my friends records and click on get access tokens so I got this token so let's start data mining through R so I switch to R studio I'm using R studio for same and we need few of the packages so what are the packages which we need to install for performing the data mining on Facebook data and the packages are the first package will be install dot packages the first package which you need to install is that HTTP UV that's the first package install dot packages the second package will be our Facebook install dot packages the third package we, we required is our color river install dot packages our curl install dot packages are JSON and the final package which we need to install it install dot packages HTTR so I have already installed these packages once you done the installation once you install all the packages you need to set the library so I set the library as library as our Facebook 
library http uv library r color brewer you can get a list of all the packages whether they have been installed or not by clicking on packages and you can see a list of packages which are installed in your current solution so the HTTP UV package has successfully installed our Facebook package has been installed our curl package so you can have a look our JSON package has been installed our curl package has been successfully installed now the next thing we need to set the option for same so I configured the token so for this we need we require the access token so I copy this token and initialize one or define one variable here access underscore token is equal to and copy paste the token so let's execute them one by one run I just set the libraries and also I just check whether this token is working or not so you can see it has been working fine because if there is an issue with the token it will throw an error message now I define options are curl options is equal to list verbose verbose is equal to false comma ca path is equal to system dot file and c u r l s s l comma double quotes cert dot perm comma package is equal to our curl package comma SSL dot verify peer is equal to false and then I execute it so it's successfully executed there are no issues with same now next thing we need to do is we need to get the user details I just wanted to get the user details I want to get my own details so I specify here I create new object here me is equal to I'm going to use get user function get users me comma token is equal to access underscore token and let's run so I got an error message because this spelling mistake but now it's working fine and you can see the data has been loaded named as me and one object of 11 variables now if I click on this table box table icon I can see the detail that's the ID that's my name and uh, gender and picture like categories locale and so on so these are the details these are my details Facebook details which we have extracted from sales uh, from Facebook I want to get my fr friend details as well so I create one more object here my new friends my friends is equal to get friends my access so sorry it should be token so we need to define a c e double -S, s underscore token comma simplify is equal to false and now when i execute it as i told you that we got a message that only friends who use the application will be returned so as i told you in the beginning that only those friends who has registered their developer developers account only their record we would be able to see so we got their records and a new table has been loaded a new the data has been loaded into my friends when i click on my friends i would be able to see that there are three three friends three of my friends they have been registered for developers account 
and if I switch at the back if I look at back their relationship is status two of them they have configured their relation they have already specified their relationship status one married one engaged and the second one this user this user did not configured any uh, did not specify any relationship status so no worries about that now I would like to display the relationship status through by using a pie chart so I, I first of all I define a table here table my friends and now we are going to place it so I specify pie table my friends dollar relationship status so based on the relationship status I would like to categorize them so relationship status and now when I click on run you can see because as I told you that we have only means uh, only two of my friends they have specified the relationship status married and engaged so you can see 50 50 percent has been divided. engaged and married out of three only two of them they have defined so if you want your pie should your pie chart should be accurate you need to ask your friends or as I told you that you can create some dummy Facebook accounts and register them for developer account to specify colors we are going to use this R color brewer package so I specify color is equal to B R E W E R dot pal and specify the numbers 9 comma and the set one set one is the name basically so it's 50 50 have been given. and in similar way if I specify two so minimum is three maximum minimum three colors you have to define that's the thing and you cannot define more than 10 colors because the highest range will be nine so I specify here five I'll just go with the five and it will be defined according to that so that's based on relationship status we can divide them based on gender because all of them they have defined their genders so let's do one thing instead of relationship status I just configured I just defined instead of relationship status I just wanted to place them in the form in by using gender so when I place gender you can see the highest number of so female and the male also uh, you can go through my previous videos in those videos I have all clearly explained how to place the values on the data points and how to add the labels and so on so that's how we can get the list of the friends list of or the uh, we can perform the data mining of the Facebook data in similar way this is for the default app if you want to create a new app for example I have configured a new app and I would like to analyze the data for the same so that can also be done so th that would be we will be going to see in next session that's all in this video if you have any queries you can write to us on www.bsptrainings.com you can subscribe our YouTube channel for more videos on our programming you can connect to us for the customized training on our programming keep watching have a nice day goodbye